right, with this title, I'm surprised we have not seen more movies with this title. I mean, Scared to Death. I mean, what else screams horror than Scared to Death? Um, this is the only time I can remember <laughs> seeing this kind of title. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm sure that, that there's been another Scared to Death movie. There, there has to be. Um, I've not looked that up. That's interesting. Maybe I will at some point. Um, but definitely excellent title for a horror movie. So hopefully it, it lives up to that. Um, <clears throat> and we'll find out. But first, uh, let's see what the IMDb plot has to say for this one. Uh, a group of filmmakers attend a seance at an abandoned children's orphanage in order to do research for a movie. That's their first mistake. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that, that's a mistake. Lots of mistakes there. Children's orphanage, uh, seance, uh, researching, yeah, for a movie, yeah, scary movie. Yeah, all, all mistakes, <laughs> definitely. Um, so, scared to death. Uh, this one, uh, I got to see courtesy of the Popcorn Frights Film Festival. Uh, the film uh, premiered as part of their, their showings. So I uh, definitely thank them for allowing me to screen the movie and watch the movie here for you guys. Um, so since this is, is a new movie just coming out, I will try to keep this uh, fairly spoiler free for you guys as well. Um, so I guess the first thing you should, should know about it is um, it stars uh, some ho couple of horror icons here, Lynn Shay and Bill Mosley, they are in it. Um, they're definitely involved in this, this movie. It is not, you know, like one of some of the other movies that we've seen uh, where we have horror icons that kind of make an appearance here or there, but not really the central part of this movie. Uh, both of them are big characters in this movie. You will see enough of them. Um, obviously, you know, I, I think there's a, a you know, the, a, the group of, of people that are involved in this film, you know, they, they do get their share of screen time as well. Um, Len Shea plays basically the, the director of this movie that they're going to be making. Um, she does a really fabulous job. I'll just throw that out at the top. She, she plays uh, very hard-nosed, uh, you know, um, very rough. You know, you, 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 see, um, you see her in some of the other films and, and kind of thinking of The Conjuring where she's definitely more calm and, and kind of trying to be that, that, that voice of reason. And, here she just you know if you make a mistake she's gonna tell you uh, um, you know she's she's rough around the edges and and not taking any crap from anybody and uh, definitely a hard-nosed director here and that that's how she's playing it um, and and I really enjoyed the, the way she played her character real fun uh, and good stuff here the way, way she's talking to people giving people orders and so forth um, good stuff there and uh, Bill Mosley kind of plays this, the guy, uh, early in the film, the film kind of opens as, I guess, one of the assistants on the film has come to this house to kind of scout it as a, a, as a possible location to film. And uh, Bill Mosley is, is kind of the realtor here. Uh, he opens the door and kind of is going to show the, this guy the, the home and kind of walk him through some of the places in it. And, and uh, the house definitely has a history here. Like I said, it was, is, like it says there in the plot, um, an orphanage, so it has some history there, maybe some scary stuff happened there. Um, so he's gonna kind of lead into that uh, as well. So uh, that's kind of Bill's kind of role in it, but Bill also has an additional role in it. Um, he also, besides being a realtor, happens to, to throw seances and, and kind of into that kind of thing. So, you know, as they're kind of going through the house or whatever, um, he kind of talks the guy into uh, saying, hey, you know, if you guys kind of really try to have an experience here and maybe see if this is your, you know, a filming location for you guys, you know, as part of your film and, and so forth, um, you know, I can do a seance for you and, and, you know, we can set that up for you. And uh, one of the characters that are going to be in, the, in, this, in this film, but also in the film that they're filming in the film, I should say, is the Grog. And, uh, you know, he's supposedly a... a um, famous actor who's done a whole bunch of films and uh, Bill Mosley's character is uh, a, a big fan of his so he's definitely encouraging the kid to hey bring you know the, the grog over here uh, along with the rest of the cast and I'll give you a discount I won't charge you you know the usual fee or whatever you know for a chance to meet the grog and, and so forth um, and and have the seance so it's it sounds like an all good deal here um, 
the, the young guy assistant goes back to, to, to Lin Shea's character. And at first she's like, yeah, this, that's bullshit. I'm not doing that. Um, but then eventually, you know, a few things happen and we wouldn't have a movie if they didn't go back to this house. So all agreed upon, you know, most of the characters in, in the, in the, the film that they're going to be filming, uh, the, the major ones go, uh, the grog goes, um, Len Shea's character goes, Bill Mosley's there. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a seance here. Um, and, you know, we know this is a horror movie, so we know that this is not going to go well. And uh, obviously, um, you know, as they kind of enter the house and things kind of go get going, we kind of kind of see that, you know, what's fake, what's real, you know, is he making a BS uh, seance here? Is it real? Is, are, you know, people really, things really happening that are weird or is it a whole fake thing? So you're gonna get that little back and forth um, as well. Um, eventually, obviously, there is going to be some realness to it. There is going to be some scariness to it. Um, I, I won't go too much into it. I mean, I don't think there's that much to spoil. There is, I guess, the, the backstory of what's going to happen here and uh, really where the haunting is going to come and, and so forth. Um, I'll, I'll just kind of say that there are children involved. Obviously, it's a children's orphanage, which adds to the creepiness of the story. Um Definitely, whenever there, there's some kids around, uh, it, it, it can add to that, that level of... of ugh. Um, so that's there. Uh, they're definitely going to uh, hit on the point scared to death. Um, I will say... Let's see the way to say it without spoiling too much. Um, I, guess, I guess the first person who basically really gets scared to death... Um, it is it's really interesting how they kind of show that, pull that off, uh, leave the person kind of scared to death. And I guess I kind of say it that way. Um, and I guess that's kind of what is, is tries to go on here as, as the hauntings become more and more as these people become trapped in this house and try to get out. Um, I thought that was a very interesting thing. And I wish they would have focused a, a little bit more on that. Um, you know, I thought that that was kind of fascinating how they did that uh, with the first person here that, that ends up scared to death. Um, and I wish they would have focused on that. I, I think, you know, then it kind of gets away from it a little bit. And, uh, you know, it obviously they, they're trying to unravel, you know, what really happened in this house, what, you know, why this haunting is happening and so forth. Um, but I thought that was an interesting thing and, 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 and what happened there. And, and I wish in some way they would have kind of stuck with that a little bit more. And, but instead, you know, we had to go and scare, you know, all the other characters, kill off some, maybe whatever, blah, blah. Um, it, it, you know, it, and really kind of focus on, on that scared to death kind of theme. Um, yeah, it, it tries to kind of happen to some of the other characters, but... I don't know, maybe it's because of the way it happened to the first character that, that it happens to. Um, I don't know, I, I just, I wanted to kind of go back and focus on that and then the movie kind of went off and, and tried to scare other people and, and so forth. And I was just like, no, can we just kind of deal and like, find out what, or what's going on over here? Or can we snap this person out of it and make them unscared to death? You know, I don't know. I, I don't know, I, I just wanted that, uh, I, I don't know. Um, as far as the way it leaves off, um, it was okay. I, I guess it kind of fit. It wraps it up nicely. Um, you know, maybe too nicely. You know, I, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I, it's hard to kind of get into it without kind of spoiling it. Um, the, the ending is okay. And, uh, I, I don't know that, that it was, you know, I, I, maybe it would have been a little bit too nice maybe i wanted something different uh again obviously uh i wanted a little bit more focus on the on the scared to death aspect of it um uh, but i i you know i i think you know the acting overall is good like i said lynn shade is going to do a good job bill does a good job um the guy who plays the grog um you know it's kind of like a, a tough you know rocker kind of guy uh but but he definitely takes it. Len Shea gives him you know orders and t telling him and do it and uh, um, a big tough guy there and, and and you know he's just you know doing it. There's a funny scene early on where 
she's just making him do line after line after line and over and over and it's it's good stuff there uh, but I definitely think he's a character that that uh, every time he's on film he, he, he you know whatever he's doing he's definitely gonna command a presence there um, so definitely you know a good job acting overall um, you know I, I don't know that it's gonna you know maybe be you know so scary and so jump scary for you but um, definitely is, is going to pick up, uh, you know, as the, the film kind of goes on here. It doesn't say how long. Yeah, it's about an, an hour and 40 minutes almost. Um, but I, I don't think you're going to feel that. I, I think it's okay. Um, you know, I, I guess, you know, once everything's kind of unveiled to you and you figure out what exactly is going in this house, that'll be kind of the judge to, to whether, you know, you really liked where the story went or not. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, having kids be a part of it is creepy. Um, there are, you know, some creepy moments in it. Um, you know, I would have really wanted it maybe to, to really narrow down on the, on the scared to death thing more than it kind of did. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I think overall it, it, it's still a pretty good film here uh, that you guys enjoy. Um, and, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I... I can't spoil too much more and, and say too much more about what's happening here. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave it at that um, So before I, I, I get in trouble here. So uh, with that, I think I'm going to give it three pools of blood here. Uh, you know, not, you know, more scares to be had in this movie, not a whole lot of blood and guts in this movie. Um, you can tell that from the title, but uh, definitely has, has some good characters, good acting, and, and, and definitely some good moments here for you guys to check out. So, uh, Again, I, I thank uh, the Popcorn Frights Film Festival for allowing me to see this movie. Um, I believe this movie will probably be at some other festivals and then uh, hopefully more of you guys will get to see this down the road. Um, definitely, I think with, with names like with, with Bill and, and Lynn Shea in it, I, I definitely think um, it will land in places that, that you guys will be able to see uh, fairly soon. Um, and if I find out uh, d down the road where this is showing or whatever, I'll try to keep you guys informed as well. So uh, again, that's three pools of blood out of five for scared to death. Uh, with that, horrorsquarereviews.blogspot.com is where you can find uh, all of my reviews written in video. Uh, definitely mostly video as of late for a while now. So uh, like, subscribe, and do everything else that everybody wants you to do here on YouTube. Uh, but if not, no worries. It is truly okay. Um, I thank you for your time regardless. Uh, Twitter, Facebook information down below. Feel free to reach out to me there. Talk about this movie, horror, uh, something you want me to review. And in the comment section as well, once you guys can see this, um, share your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you not? Um, what do you think of the characters? And um, yeah, with that, I guess I'll catch you in the next review, horror fans.